Well, for other stories making headlines across China, let's go to CCTV's Pan Deng, who joins us live from Beijing as well. Hello there. Hello, RCA. Go ahead. Yes, uh, China on Monday released its annual report on human rights conditions in 2013. The white paper elaborates the progress in China's human rights from nine aspects, including social security rights, democratic rights, and personal rights. The Chinese government stressed many times to improve people's lives is still the priority of the government jobs, especially to increase income of residents. We can see from the report for rural residents, the annual income was up 9.3 percent over the previous year. For urban residents, it was 7 percent. The report also takes a look at ethnic issues. More than 13 percent of the National People's Congress deputies were from ethnic minorities and included all of the country's 55 ethnic minority groups. Government also increased the spending on ethnic minority areas up by 10.5 percent to 7.7 billion U.S. dollars for the part of people's freedom of speech. The paper focused on development of social media as the Internet has become one of the most important platforms for people to express their opinions. Among 600 million Internet users in China, more than two-thirds access the Internet via mobile devices. Chinese citizens posted and forwarded 250 million microblog messages and over 20 billion WeChat and other instant messages every day. For taking care of the disabilities, 18,000 welfare companies around the country employed more than 500,000 people with disabilities. To the environmental issues, China spent 56.6 billion US dollars on energy conservation and environmental protection, a 14% year-on-year growth. Other achievements include abolishing the system of re-education through labor, increasing international cultural exchanges and cooperation, and signing of 26 international covenants on human rights. Last November, China was elected to the UN Human Rights Council for the term from 2014 to 2016. Back to you, RCA. And Dong, what are the, some of the challenges that China still faces when it comes to human rights? Uh, yes, the report also noted that China is still a large developing country with conspicuous problems of unbalanced, uncoordinated and unsustainable development. Many issues need to be resolved step by step. And the recent terror attacks also posed great threats to human rights conditions in China. President Xi Jinping on Monday urged a harsh crackdown on terror attacks to safeguard millions of innocent people's lives in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Back to you. Handong Japanese Defense Ministry expressed their anger after a close encounter between Chinese fighter jets and Japanese military planes this weekend. Any reaction from China on that? Yes, according to the Chinese Defense Ministry, Japanese military planes have intruded on the airspace of China-Russia naval exercises and carried out dangerous actions, seriously violating international laws. On Monday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Ching Gan said the Defense Ministry has made a clear statement over the issue. The encounter happened when China and Russia were carrying out live ammunition drills in the East China Sea on Saturday. The drill was under the overlapped area of China and Japan's air defense zones. Two Japanese airplanes intruded into the drill zone, interfering with the exercise. Two Chinese J-15 jets took necessary identification and preventative measures to ensure the safety of the warships and aircraft in the drills. Now we turn to China-Vietnam tensions. China's foreign ministry urged Vietnam to severely punish riot perpetrators. Vietnam has sentenced two men to prison after finding them guilty of taking part in a recent anti-China riot. Beijing said punishment is not enough and Hanoi should conduct a thorough investigation. The violence left at least two Chinese nationals dead and more than 100 others injured. At least 37 people have died and six others remain missing after heavy dumpers hit South China. The rainstorms have swept nine provinces in the region. A total of five and a half million people were affected 
and more than 400,000 people displaced. Floods also destroyed about 260,000 hectares of crops. Losses are estimated at 1 billion US dollars. China has activated a high level emergency response in the affected areas. That's all for me now. Back to you, RCA. All right, thank you so much, Fandong Live in Beijing.